Joe here. Today we're going to talk about installing Zubuntu Linux on a Mac Mini. Start from Google. Aha, as you can see it's the 30th anniversary of Pac-Man. And you can actually play Pac-Man if you wanted to. There we go. This will take you to the page. Pick the one we want. We want to pick a mirror, which is a server. Let's find a server close by. I'm in the United States. Which version do we want? Let's pick the newer version. Okay. Okay. Here, you can pick between an Intel or an AMD chip, AMD type uh, processor for your computer. Um, I, I know for a fact that the new Apple computers have Intel chips in them, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this right here as opposed to the AMD. Click Save. It says it'll take 31 minutes. So I'm going to stop the video and come back once the download is finished. Okay, the download is complete. What we have is a CDR and we are going to take the downloaded ISO file and we're going to burn the image to the CD. Um, there's a difference between just copying the ISO file to the CD and burning the image of the ISO file to the CD. So what we're going to do is burn the image um, and the way to do it is we're going to pop in our CD. I actually have my software set up to automatically open up the disk utility manager. Um, you'll see it pop open in just a moment. And then what I'll also show you how to get to it from your applications folder. You click on applications and then it can be found in your utilities folder. And then here is the disk utility icon right there. That's what it looks like. So, so here it is. And then what you're going to do is go to your downloads folder. You're going to just click and drag your ISO file over to this white box. Now, you click the file and click burn. It says it's ready to burn and there we go. And what we're doing now is creating the, um, the live CD of Zubuntu. Once it's finished, we will be able to go into Parallels Desktop and boot to the live CD. Okay, the live CD is in the computer and we're fixing to go to Parallels Desktop and all we need to do at this point is click on the plus sign and as you can see, it is recognizing that there is an install CD in the drive. So I'm going to tell it to continue. Give it a moment. We select the type of operating system. And what we're going to say is more Linux. And I'm actually going to call it other another Linux. I mean, it is based off of Ubuntu, but I don't want to mislabel it. So let's say continue, typical, and let's call this Unity. There we go. Create. And let's start. The installation. All right, we are doing the installation portion of this video. Uh, I have done some extensive editing on the installation. A lot of boring, uh, a lot of time it was taking for the installation, so I have trimmed it down to fit the video. Also, I redid this portion of the video, so 
I could focus on the most important portion, which is uh, partitioning of a hard drive. That's, that's probably, without a doubt, the most uh, important thing to understand what you're doing. Um, I kind of briefly touch on it, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, so, the main focus for this part of the video I want to talk about is the partitioning of the hard drive. Uh, Linux requires a different type of partition on your hard drive, just like your Mac or your Windows. You know, all of these different types of operating systems have different formatting requirements for your hard drive. Um, they can coexist on the same physical hard drive. That's not a problem. But you need to understand that if you have an existing hard drive that you want to share, um, a lot of times, based upon how many files are on that hard drive, those files can get scattered all across the drive. And it is very important, say on a Windows computer, that you run the disk defragmenter as part of the Windows operating system, where you can restack all of your files at the beginning of the partition. What that does is it takes away all of the gaps and spaces between all of the files. Um, because what's going to happen when you run the partitioner is you're going to take a slice of the hard drive and dedicate it to Linux. And what's going to happen if you don't run the disk defragmenter, you run the risk of taking a slice of your hard drive and snagging who knows how many files that were data files or program files, you know, your Windows operating system for that matter might not work. So run the disk defragmenter first. This CD that we've created can be run on a PC or a Mac. Um, I'm just showing you a way to do it on a Macintosh computer. But I, I want you guys to be aware that that's the, you know, one risk you need to be cautious of. All right, the Zubuntu operating system has now been installed. So let's give it a quick test run. Parallels Desktop, we come up here, Zubuntu Linux. And let's see. And the booting process is actually fairly quick. Now, if you look here, you notice I have two mouse, two, I guess you would say mice. I have two mice. One is for um, the OS X operating system, and one is for the Linux operating system. And right now, I am in Parallels Desktop. But if I double click, I am now in Linux. So let's go ahead and log in. And we are now at the desktop. Now, there's a couple of things I'll show you very quickly. And then once you go through with your installation, you'll be really, really uh, impressed. And, and you'll have fun with some of these things. Obviously, there are some updates that you'll need to um, go through. But what I'm going to do is delay the updates for now. As you can see, Ubuntu. It's based off of Ubuntu, so you're still getting this, the support of a very nice distribution of Linux. Uh, and the Ubuntu, Ubuntu Software Center, right up under Applications, right here, there are thousands of applications, very high quality applications that are available. 2,200 applications right here. And there are some featured applications that are definitely worth looking at. Some are already installed, but the majority are not. So look here, no spyware, no viruses. This is really, really something worth looking at. Um, other than that, have fun with it. This is uh, Joe. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments, questions, concerns. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions I can. And I'll talk to you soon.